Oh, you just hate me. You just hate me. You say, okay, all right. And what I honestly feel, my opinion, I feel, and I hope that it doesn't happen. He's going to hurt somebody. He's going to hurt somebody, and he's going to have it documented. And that's going to be his downfall because D.O.T. is going to get his ass. And and I also feel that if he don't hurt somebody, the thing that's going to happen is D.O.T. is going to get him for recording. And he's going to try to fight them. And then he's going to wish at the end of the day, he's going to wish that he had listened to me, you, and everybody else that told him Bobby the company has that uh, no recording uh, or in the manner that you record, they had that policy in place for a reason. From previous experiences from what happened with other drivers is what, you know, because before they put it, they didn't just all of a sudden just come up with this. Somebody did something or whatever and it came back and bit them, so they put a policy in place to ensure that it doesn't happen again. Exactly. And I was going to say, I have three cameras because I drive a Volvo there is a camera that has the radar in it. That is the one that's involved, I mean, that's installed on the manufacturer from Volvo. And then just to the right of that camera is my company's camera. But to the left of that camera is my camera. So anything that I catch on my camera is caught on these other two cameras also. So what makes you think that you can record some shit that ain't nobody else seen or whatever? Yeah. Not better. Better yet, and you just said two things right there. I love what both of what you said. Better yet, not only do you need to sit down, you need to shut up and listen because you are a newbie. Stop out, stop being out here trying to tell people stuff. I mean, you're literally trying to offer advice to, as my mama would say, it's the blind leading the blind. You are brand new, and you're trying to offer advice to people who are brand new. What advice do you got? Shit, dude, you and, and, and oh wait, man. Here's the kicker to that too, because I thought about this the other day too, and I seen this video. So he lives in Washington, where I don't know, but he lives in Washington, dude. Me and you are from the Midwest, and like right now, I'm in Florida. I'm going to do a drop and hook at uh, Walmart, and then I'm going to head up to uh, Jacksonville, pick up a load in the morning, and take that on up to New Jersey. That is a Excuse me, that's a whole complete different breed of what I'm doing than what he's doing over there. Dude, I don't have the mountains. I don't have that kind of traffic over there. I'm not restricted to a 55 mile an hour speed limit. I don't have the little small narrow streets until I get up to New Jersey. I mean, you know, this is a whole trucking in the uh, Pacific Northwest and trucking in the Midwest and uh, Southeast. It's completely different. So what advice can you give to somebody, man, who lives in Georgia and trucks in the Midwest and Southeast? You know, do you drive Atlanta? Do you drive Chicago? Do you drive Cleveland? Do you drive Philly? Do you drive D.C.? You know, you don't know nothing about not being able to go through the hearts of a city. You don't know nothing about, you know, having to get off on routes and having to take trucking routes, man. Because, you know, just like you and I don't know about having to throw chains all the damn time. Which that shit wasn't, wasn't fun either. I don't know. Did you see my video the other last week? <laughs> I throw the damn chains to get over that mountain. <laughs> I was mad, dog. I was mad. <laughs> my sister called me. My sister called me. She said, "Man, my sister called me. She said I thought you. She said I thought you and my other two brothers. She said I thought y'all said that if you had to throw chains, it's time to park." I said, "Yeah, well, I was parked for about two hours and it wasn't. The snow wasn't stopping. <laughs> I said mean, it wasn't like you know it was snowing up there. It was snowing here." I said. By the time I decided to move, the snow was already eight inches deep. It was still snow. I had to go. That shit was still there, man. When I came back from Washington, I came back through there. It was still there. <laughs> I, I was, man, I was so mad, man. So that's what I'm saying, you know. Bobby, tell me, how do you go about putting chains on your tires? Oh, you haven't done that yet, Bobby? Well... Where's your content at? Where's your, and that's the other thing, dude. What is this whole thing, this new word that I'm hearing about content? What's content? 
what is that? Well, now nah, here I'm going to put you in the same context as some of these other people, just to use you as an example, and even myself. I see a lot of people that create videos, and I see a lot of videos that pop up on uh, my reels, on my Facebook, and my Instagram, and it's about a lot of people looking for attention and likes and subscribes, but yet and still, I see other people like yourself, and I see other people who put stuff out there, and they pop up every once in a while, and I look at their subscribers, and I, but I look and listen to what they're saying, and they don't have a whole lot of subscribers. You're being, you're keeping it real. You're keeping it 100, and you got 500 followers, and you got these people over here that's just doing bullshit about nothing, and they got 5,000, or they got 10,000 subscribers and followers, and I'm like, so if you're calling that content, be honest with you, what they're doing is not content to me. That's all, that's all fake stuff, just, you know, just visual for the eye. It's, it's really not, it's not mind stimulating and it's not really providing you with anything substantial. It's just all visual. And then when I click on your video, the first thing you says, girl, uh, let me tell y'all something about this guy, this and this guy. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute, but that ain't got shit to do with trucking. On the videos to my girl, and she was like, "Well, ain't that your friend?" I was like, "Yeah," and I was like, "Listen," I said, "This cat right here," I said, "He ain't got nowhere near the experience that I got, but he is as experienced as I am." I said, just simply because he's taking everything in and he's using everything. I, you know, I said, when I first met him, he was all about J.R. Sugar, this and that. And I told him, man, I said, I, when he had that cheese incident, I told him, I said, man, listen, you ain't nothing but just a person to them. I don't get too friendly with them because they would discard you and they would do this, that, and the other thing. When they did it, he was kind of hurt at first, but he also told me that he wasn't as hurt as he would have been because he expected it because I gave him the heads up. And I, I told her, I said, that's where experience, I, I gave him my experience because of what's going to happen to me. So when it happened to him, he wasn't surprised because he already knew what to expect. I said, he just moved on and kept on going. Always wanted to be famous, just being real, yeah, just being honest. My haters won't always be nameless, give them no cloud or give them no power. Creators are different than agents, who know them later, or will be ours. I keep an eye out for the numbers, I stay in contrast, synchronization. To infinity, even beyond it, I am a common, no destination. A lot of things I am above, and there are a lot of things that are above me. Do not come for the people I love, cause then I get scary, then I get angry, yeah. They don't bother, the number, equation, present, loaded, observation. I'm not, do it, reborn. Thank you.